Now what? A different place. Again. It seems like we're being teleported around. What now? Let's finish him. Watch out, he's coming down. Good. Uh, okay, so it looks like he's actually going to be an active participant in this battle. And he's got a shield. Fantastic. What is that thing? A shield? Yeah, it seems to be an extremely strong energy shield. My scan results are going through the roof again. It looks like he re redirected part of the energy from his weapon to his armor. We'll have to concentrate our firepower if we want to cause any damage. Easier said than done, he's brought a small army with him. Let's split up. You guys focus on him, we'll take out his bodyguards. Let's move. Okay. So. I thought this was going to be a lot more straightforward. It actually was. Luckily, it does seem like his combat ability is vastly reduced. So, let's quickly take a look at him. Ow. Damn it. So, apparently Morton needs to reload. Best timing, buddy. Luckily, it looks like we've got a lot more containers. And... Let's see. So he doesn't actually have shields, like real shields. He just has probably some level of damage reduction or something. But I'll have to look into that. Looks like we've also got a bunch of class A guys and one armored monster. So, steady shot the armored monster. We want to take that out probably first and foremost because we're not going to be able to take out heavy man at all that quickly chances of hitting anybody at this range pretty freaking pitiful that's not entirely surprising okay where can uh, balls I mean one of the one of the benefits of all of this all of the enemies have pretty crap for accuracy but uh, still not so great who's got inventory space anyway uh, Schaefer's got some Schaefer that's ammunition that's not really useful for Schaefer Sha mm. I guess we'll move Schaefer up here. He's got all of his stuff back, so I... In retrospect, my whole, like, emergency... Continually heal Schaefer... Oh, his backpack is full. But let's quickly go into our inventories. We've got, we've got a lot of ammo. We've got a lot of med kits. The problem is I don't want to throw anything away. Which, you know, presents interesting and annoying problems. I guess I'm going to have to recycle... <laughs> some of this ammunition, because there's no way I'm going to be able to do anything otherwise. Next up... Balls, I don't know. Uh, Linda, inventory. She's got two slots. Mainly, we need med kits. These are useful. And Morton. Morton can't move anywhere. Oh, right, because he did the whole shooty nonsense. 13, inventory side. Space. He's got a fair amount. Let's load him up with grenades. It's not like he can... Well, actually, now now 13 is actually going to be a worthwhile member of the team in terms of fighting, which is pretty damn awesome. Ah, nuts. Hoping I could get Sam in on the action, but no. Mm, I don't want to keep him behind cover. Morton's going to be out and about, but with luck, nobody's even going to be able to shoot at our guys. That said, I'm not feeling terribly lucky here. <laughs> and the turtle... Oh, poor turtle. Well, I'll just plop her back here. Really, I want to see how the enemies react. Are they all going to try and pot shot at me? No. They're all going to be on retaliation. So, what I think I'm going to try and do is get close enough that I can get the land bridge down and snipe them from a distance. Because, here's the question. Is our primary enemy guy able to hit us from here? Because if he is, that's a problem. If not, we're fine. Yeah, okay, so he's not gonna he's not gonna take any pot shots at us. Which is actually pretty perfect. I think everybody's pretty okay as far as ammo goes. I'm just gonna cross my finger that we don't need any more. I could leave somebody back here, but hmm, that seems stupid. Have Morton charge up. Cause we gotta be we gotta be getting to the point where these guys are gonna start shooting at us. And that's always never a good thing. I'll have 13 teleport up here. Okay, that gives us some bridges. The question is, where are... Oh. Is that... Yep. They're going to start coming. So we're going to need to be ready. Meaning, uh, get behind cover. And I guess 13 and Schaefer will have to do a hell of a lot of the dirty work. But now we can start shooting them too, which is good. On his next turn, Schaefer should actually have enough accuracy to 
Uh, actually st start sniping these guys for realsies. Linda, hmm. I think Linda is going to be more useful than Nia when it comes to hanging out. I'm half tempted to have Nia as kind of our backwatch lady in charge of redistributing things to people. So I'm going to give a med kit to Morton, another med kit to our shield cell to Schaefer, and that's it for her actions. I guess she can grab some grenades, and she'll just keep shuffling them forward. And I'm just going to cross my fingers that Josh is safe here and nobody can shoot at him. Because if I can get them up to this platform, that probably will open up the next section, maybe. Or at least a nice sniping platform. We'll see. Here they come, though. My hope is that generic enemy whatever his face is will... Or not generic enemy, but like super boss enemy is not going to come after us. And then we'll be... Balls. Okay, so... What does this mean? It means we no longer advance. Well, we no longer advance. Our entire goal right now should be clearing everything as close as possible and retreating away. Because uh, if we if we try and advance, we're going to get stuck on that bridge and get the crap beaten out of us. I wonder what happens if I lose. Like, if I do manage to lose this mission. A, I'm glad I went back and, you know, got everybody up to be spick and span. We'd have some serious trouble otherwise. Okay, so, obviously, some amount of consternation to be had here. There we go. Headshots. Oh, finally. Turtle, turtle's in an actually actively productive position. Hooray. Okay. Get Josh over there. That's going to give us another bridge and another access point. So with luck, the uh, enemy forces will divide, and then we can fight them on both platforms. Because right now, Schaefer, 13, and the snipers. Actually, that's not a bad combo. Who still has actions? Oh, 13. Wow. We know what 13 can do. It's too far away. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll wait for his next turn, I think. He can't teleport. We don't want him to teleport. Let's wait. So we've got a lot of these guys that will stack up. But it looks like a number of the UFOs are going to come down. Luckily, Josh is that direction. And we can use and abuse his, um, his anti-shield abilities. Now, with luck... Ah, damn. I, I was kind of crossing my fingers here. That with, th with luck, these guys will bunch up a little bit. But it looks like all of the UFOs are going to slowly come after us. And I guess the other scary part is, you know, big and mean. Big green and mean. Purple and mean. Is going to come after us, because if he gets close, I get the feeling he's going to be quite the threat. Okay, so, first and foremost, 13. How do you feel about parties? How do you feel about everything dying? Beautiful. Ah, oh, crap, Schaefer's out of ammo. Now, one thing that we do have going for us is 61%. If I can get her to... Yep. Okay, so there's one done, and there's two done. Damn. I was really hoping she'd be able to hit him. Oh, well. Let's boost up that accuracy. There we go. Only superficial damage there, but uh, it'll have to do. Josh, shield overcharge. That guy. There we go. And Morton, I believe, has... Damn. He doesn't have steady shot, but has good enough accuracy that it doesn't matter. There we go. One UFO is down. And I'm pretty happy about that. Linda. Hmm. I could have her move forward. I'm just not... Mm, no, I'm not going to have her move forward. She's going to be... She's going to be cover, I think, for people. And so, next up, Nia. She's got the grenades, right? So she is going to give the grenades, more grenades, to 13. Seems like a pretty good plan, right? And then nobody seems like we've got ammo issues right now. We got that going for us, and Josh actually has an action. 
accuracy is pretty bad. But 50% uh, is pretty good for shooting this guy. Hey, works. And that's it. So, I'm continually regretting the fact that I gave everybody shotguns for this mission. But apart from that, uh, this is actually shaping out to be pretty okay. We've taken out a lot of the basic types of... Uh, they're chucking grenades at me. The jerks. And now that guy's got to be getting close enough that he's going to be able to start shooting at us. Also, Linda's getting injured. Well, I mean, if there's anybody... If there's anybody get injured, it's Linda. Now, that, in that, in that positioning there, not exactly what I would call okay. And now we have some problems. So first and foremost, Schaefer has no shields. Let's fix that. Second up. These guys are getting close. Too close for comfort. And... I like comfort. Unfortunately, I get the feeling... Or, I... Not that I get the feeling. But, um... I can almost guarantee... Oh, did... Ah, uh, we took one of the shooters out. That's great. Okay, I, I can almost guarantee that Schaefer and 13 are not going to last very long here. And that's kind of okay. They're... I mean, they're tough, but they're essentially cover for everybody else. And with luck, we can... Hmm, tough aliens probably going to give us some issues here. Okay, so first and foremost, we've got a UFO. Josh, what's the cooldown on that? It's actually not a half bad cooldown for his ability. We'll have Josh switch gears and shoot over there, because his accuracy is pretty much the pits. Oh, hello. His backpack's full anyway. We'll have to make do with that later. And does he have a steady shot ready? Nope, not yet. He could grenade. Where can he grenade? Can he... Come on. Come on, Come on camera. Pan. God. The one thing they could... They screw up, and it's the camera controls. That just disappoints me to no end. Okay, so, nothing to do but uh, try and shoot something. A chance. Uh, too far. Too far, too far. So I guess the only enemies we can shoot at are... That, well, that actually worked, somehow. Can't complain. So, uh, the one problem is we do have the UFO, which is bad, because the UFO... Okay. So Schiffer's got all of his shields back, and it looks like these guys aren't going to progress any further, which is good. Unfortunately, Schaefer is getting hit really hard. And that's kind of really bad. Damn. There he goes. And he just got all of his shields back, too. Okay, so, next up. Josh, please tell me you've got... No. This is not what we need right now. We need to take out everything, but we can't take out the UFO yet. Okay, we took out that guy. That's good. The snipers are still good, and 13 is still up, which is also good. And... I mean, 13 probably, like I said, not gonna last long here. With luck, I can take out the toughy fairly quickie. <laughs> fairly quickie. Fairly quickly. And... Uh, then, really, it's just the final enemy, and that's it. 13. Not much he can do in this situation. Does he have a shield kit or anything? Yep. Shield cell large. Let's use it. Toughen up a little bit. And seeing as... Oh, nuts. Can he, te he can teleport. Where can he teleport? That'd even be remotely useful. Actually, no. We're gonna we're gonna have him... I wish he could hunker down. That's a functionality that does not exist on this guy. Okay. You know, in retrospect, splitting up my forces might not have been the brightest idea. Oh well. So... Oh crap, I forgot Morton's getting shot at. At least he took out the enemy in back that was shooting at him, so... Uh, assuming that he lives through this, he should be okay. Okay. So next turn. Ah, let's see. I think here's what we're going to do. 
Ah. Okay. So we're we're gonna do damage to that. As much damage as we can, because if I can take this out, we're good. Now, 13 does not need to be up here anymore. 13 still has some shields, and with luck, he can back off, and most of the enemies won't be able to hit him. Morton, v Morton is very injured. I'm tired of him opening up that. Well, let's go into his inventory so he doesn't actually... Oh, yeah. apparently that's all he's got. Okay, and shield overcharge is not ready yet. Damn. Well, let's just keep pelting that thing from the side. Because what I'm going to do on my next turn is shield overcharge and then steady shot. Because that's sensible, right? Can he grenade that guy? Nope. Can he hit him? Uh, I mean, he could shoot the UFO, but that'd be silly. Can't shoot the rest of these guys. So I think after after we take out that UFO, we're going to have these guys fall back too. Because we've already lost some of our crucial people. Uh, actually, really just Linda and Jafer. I'm really surprised that they managed to take out Schaefer so effectively. But... Crossing my fingers here that 13 is going to be okay. Yep, yeah, looks like actually we're we're going to be fine. I do have my reservations about a lot of things, but uh, we'll see. So, nope. We want shield overcharge, UFO. Only way I'm going to be able to take it out normally. And then... Because otherwise I'd have to focus fire it, which is usually never effective. And steady shot. Okay, UFO is dead. Now, I'm not keen on this, but he's going to need to use a med pack. He's getting hit pretty hard. Next up, I'm going to have him move around. And... Oh, God. I forgot about the snipers. Oh, I, oh, I completely wasted an action. Okay, 13's not dead yet. Boy, is he close, though. Which is bad. And next up, Morton, and these two are just going to run. There's no other recourse I can give at this point in time. I'm really disappointed that Morton's shields aren't back yet. Okay, 13, you're going to need to medkit. God, completely forgot about... You know, the sniper's last round. That was a horrifying mistake. Oh well. Now, at this point, 60% chance to hit. It's good enough chances. Come on, hit him. There we go. He's dead. Okay, so all we have left are four enemies. One of them is the big nasty. And unfortunately, our tank is dead. Oh, oh yeah, this is bad. Oh, good. He missed. So... With luck, all we have to do is get Josh and Morton back to a safe spot. Okay, they've got their shields back, and we've got some headshots. So, if I can take out these guys, then we are golden. Because then all we have to deal with is Big Nasty. And... There we go. And... Big Nasty, how much health do you have? I don't know. <laughs> Who won't tell me? Yet. Uh, no reason for... Gina should be hiding back there. I'll move her closer to that. 13. Do you have any health kits that are... Mm, no. Damn. Okay. Morton. Who can you hit at this accuracy? Can you even hit him? Ah, oh, you can. But I think I want to have him all the way over here. We'll put him next to Gina. He's got fairly good accuracy at the distance. And then, Josh, we're going to move you back here. Your shields are gone. Best not to take too much damage when your shields are gone. Anybody have any actions that I could deal with? 13's got something. What can 13 do? He could med pack himself. That seems wildly irresponsible. I'll just move him over here. Hopefully nobody will be able to shoot him. And then, uh, as soon as his shields are back, I think I'm actually going to do a, <laughs> a crazy suicide run with the chainsaw rifle. And he's essentially just going to melee this guy repeatedly. Weird. He didn't attack. We might actually just be able to snipe the crap out of him because of his programming. I could not complain about that. We've actually already got him halfway down. He was pretty full up the last time I saw. So, oh, interesting. Okay, so first and foremost, let's paralyze him. Why not? 
he's immune to paralysis. Damn it. Well, that'll have to do. Morton, get over here. You're kind of injured, but you do have fantastic accuracy. So, uh, I mean, it's fantastic enough. Not enough. Whatever. Where can I put Josh that would be even remotely productive? Unfortunately, his shields are gone, so I can't do much with him. Yeah, you can get a medium med kit, though. That's, that's a good thing. So, I guess that's it for the loot on the map, except for these containers up here. What the heck is he doing now? Well, okay. So, I had some, I had some reservations about this, but I believe at this point we've got we've got everybody on the ropes. So, first and foremost, Sam, we could shoot that guy, or we could shoot this guy. Come on, hit him. Beautiful. Actually, that thing's almost dead. It's pretty good. Let's uh see if I can seal the deal. Damn. Please tell me you have steady shot. No, no steady shot yet. But, luckily, this guy is now in the general firing radius of everybody else. Now, one other thing I notice is you might actually be able to hit the... Nope, never mind. Well, that was dumb. I was hoping to see if I could target his shield instead, because it looked like you could. But you can't. So, why is it even an issue anymore? Now, let's see, where can he teleport to? Oh, hello. So, Chainsaw rifle! Okay, uh, is that it, it for everybody? That's it for everybody. So now we have 13, kind of a compromising position. Luckily, he has cover against these guys, which is necessary. I was actually hoping that we'd be able to avoid that kind of business. So he's getting hit a little bit. Luckily, his tank suit is saving him. So um, he can probably tank two more hits or he can use a med kit. He's going to be churning through med kits like candy right now, but... Isn't that what Josh is for? Give two. Thirteen. Give two. Thirteen. Give two. Give two. Oh, right, he's out of actions. <laughs> of course he can't give anything else. Duh. And let's just keep walloping this guy, because he really is almost dead. Uh, ooh. We don't want to steady shot him. We want to steady shot this guy. Take him out. Beautiful, okay? Two enemies left. One of them is pretty worthless at this point in time. And the other one is so very close to death. I'm really enjoying this mission, actually. I was... I had my reservations, but... There we go. Blows up 13 in the process. Nope. Wow. Glitter. And apparently that ends the mission. He's dead. Finally. It's about time. Take that. That was rough. But we did it. So, how do we get out of here? Great question. There must be a way. Uh, the monoliths. They're unstable. Quick, shoot all the monoliths. Problem solved. Oh, wait, no. I guess they're just busting them up. I guess without that dude-ski, that's the end of it. Do you feel that? Ah, I think I'm gonna pass out. Feels like a jump. A jump? We're not even on the Goliath, right? Uh, are we? Or are we on the Goliath? We're back on the Goliath. And we just beat the game, according to that achievement. So, oh man, I never thought I'd be so happy to be back on the ship. Josh, quickly, attach Alice. Forget it, we don't have time for this. Why wouldn't we? We're alone here. She's right, Lannis. That last jump seemed to have put the Goliath straight into the upper atmosphere of a planet. We're on a crash course. Ha! This is the uh, prelude to Risk of Rain, isn't it? I knew this would happen. But why now? Stop talking, we need to get out of here. Get to the escape pods down the hallway. Follow me. Well, all that preparation for nothing. Is that Earth or something? No, it's not Earth. It'd be kind of hilarious if it was actually Earth and this is how humans got to Earth, but also that would be stupid. It, it actually, wow, it does kind of look like the risk of rain. This is a cool cutscene. And then everyone died. I'm kind of disappointed you couldn't see the escape pods coming out when uh, it landed. Oh well. And this is some nice pixel scenery. Like, this is really professional grade stuff. I like the, I like the uh, smoke too. Shit's burning though. I should uh, probably look into that because 
doesn't that thing have like some kind of fusion reactor that could conceivably go boom? At this point, I'm just poking holes in things that don't need to be poked. Because, you know what? I'm just enjoying this. This is fun. I won! With cheesy tactics and crazy strategy. So, if it's not a immediately obvious, this game was made by two dudes, Simon and Stefan Bachman. Probably no relation to Michelle Bachman, you know, the creepy political lady, but uh, I guess Johan Vanette helped out. There's some other people that helped out, but largely it was by the Bachman brothers, which I actually find kind of a cool concept, you know, two dudes making this much of a game. I got 34 episodes out of this game, probably more, 35? Which is pretty ridiculous for, you know, a $15 indie game. 10, 12 hours? So on a pure cost of, uh, cost of fun ratio, this one definitely takes the cake, as far as a lot of games I've played recently. Sure, roguelikes get further, but they're roguelikes. The music's really good now. Oh, clouds. Except for there's a mountain range moving in at the same time, or is that supposed to be clouds? It's clouds that look like a mountain range. Yeah, I thought it was just this big old purple mountain in the background. It's like, why is it just scooting over? Does the mountain have legs? That would be weird. Looking at everybody's name. Ido Yehili. No, oh, that's not a bad name. Michael Holzapfel. Holzapfel. Huh. Uh, Timo Kral. That's actually kind of a nice last name. Kral! Oh. I guess in, uh... Retrospect, I could, I could see poor guy getting made fun of for his last name. And also, this game was published by Chucklefish. That probably should be obvious. But uh, if you didn't know, Chucklefish does tend to publish some of the really cooler indie games. Overall, damn good game. Really enjoyed it. Not as good as XCOM, but that's okay. Because it wasn't trying to be XCOM. Though, um, what happened to everybody? Do we get an epilogue or something? Anything? Or are they all just dead? Is that what happened here? Don't know. Don't know at all. Can't imagine that anybody would be able to find him out here. I guess probably spot the ship. Nope. We do get an epilogue of sorts. Finally, the fire is burning. Not easy with the low oxygen oxygen values. At least it's something. Everything hurts. Those escape pods are torture devices. True, but we're alive, and at least this planet hasn't killed us yet. Pure luck. What next? We search for the rest of the crew. And Hope some of them survived. That sounds familiar. That's a good epilogue. You know, they landed, but, uh, you know, potential for more. So, this has been Wanderbot playing halfway and enjoying it thoroughly. If you like this game in any way, shape, or form, I'd actually recommend picking it up. If not at full price, definitely. At a 50% off, or especially a 75% off, it's definitely worth it at that price. So, uh, especially if you like the tactical stuff. Sure, you'll already know the plot, obviously, by watching me play this game, but it's still a fun enough experience. Especially if you like, you know, tactical squad-based combat. And if you like this Let's Play in any way, shape, or form, and haven't subscribed to me yet, I can't exactly imagine how anybody would get through uh, what, 35 part series without being one of my watchers already, but, you know, if you haven't, I encourage subscribing and watching more. I do tend to play a lot of games like this, but you know what, I'm advertising my content to people that probably already watch my stuff. So, that is the definition of insanity. De as long as you're not talking to Voss. So, I guess I will see you guys on whatever series I happen to go on to next. Wow, this is like the first time I've finished something in ages, because roguelikes you can't finish. That's a sobering thought. Either way, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.